Good morning, church. What a beautiful day it is to be in the Lord. What a loving horizon. Uh, what a beautiful scenery as well as what a beautiful spirit. Amen. Just the spirit of the living God ministering and touching our lives and just being filled with the spirit of the living God. You know, we have to know that our God is so alive and he is so prominent on all these things and what we're believing for and what we're hoping for and you know today i just want you to cast your care on over to the lord because god cares for you he loves you so much there's so much in store that god has in store for you and the promises of god are saying yes and amen i am saying yes and amen amen and so as we go in today i will be reading out of the word of god uh in first peter um let me see here i have this for you there in chapter four but before we do i just want to salute and thank each and every one of y'all guys that are truly connected with us and in prayer as God is transitioning many of our leadership uh, now they are traveling just like Pastor Thomas he's traveling and so um, there's transitionings that are going around and as well as uh, Pastor uh, Ashag um, he's uh, all the way in, in Pakistan and using them and doing the work of the ministry uh giving out food and uh ministering to those in the in, that are in slavery as well as to his church amen reaching out to the body and the extended hand of wanting to 
to minister to those in slavery will be coming so very soon we will be uh promoting that that way y'all guys can connect as the lord needs as well not forgetting those that uh ambassador and prophet there on prayer mountain church uh, still god is using the transition home and god is building up the church there so if you are looking for a place to be built know that we can build through our mission fields amen and increases ever the more now right now we are helping the hands of another pastor here uh, within Fort Worth amen and as God leads us we will continually to do so amen and as the Lord permits uh, sister Tina will still be doing videoing and maybe every now and then do a service okay so i'm not forgetting i'm not um backing out come on now uh out of the gathering amen because y'all are family y'all are friends y'all are loved ones but know that we are gathering in other places just like when we did our community church and community and so we're giving out more of uh, our community going into homes right now uh every now and then you'll see uh thursday is discipleship um sometimes i put that out there on discipleship and also on tuesdays is our day of prayer and also those who bring the word right now it is a spanish facility a spanish church and so a lot of the things that are being done are in spanish amen and so continually to pray for us as god mounts us up with wings of eagles to continually to soar let us pray here today so father god we thank you lord for the work that you are working within each and every one of us father May we see to know, Father God, that you are the truth, you are the way, and you are the life. And Father God, we submit this flesh, we submit this body, we submit the desires of the flesh. Lord, we give it all to you, Father God. Lord, because we know that you are working within our lives, Father God, that you are channeling us, Father to be bolder, to be stronger, and to take the land as it is promised, Lord. You said to be bold, you said to be strong, and that's what we're doing, Father God. We are taking the land by being bold and by being strong, Father God. Lord, here today, this very morning, Father God, and it may be evening around the world, Lord, we cast our care upon you, Lord, because you care for us father god lord your word promises there's nothing missing there's nothing broken father god and you're encouraging us because you have given us life you have given us the promise of the working of your holy spirit you built us up you mounted up our wings on eagles lord and allowing us to soar and to be sure and to know that you are God Lord you are a promise keeper and I thank you father God that you refined us from the very crown of our head to the very soles of our feet father thank you Lord for ministering to our lives and allowing us to be in connection with you and through you and for you and by you in Jesus mighty name amen and amen church we were taking all these things to the lord in prayer amen that sometimes we have a set of rules of maybe that we've adopted things things that are good maybe things that are bad but you know god sets up his rules of love god sets up his rules of power god sets up these things when hard things come against us and maybe difficult things that we don't understand of those things that are ahead 
and God does not want us to fear. Amen. And may everything that we do, may it be pleasing in the Lord's eyes and in the Lord's sight. See, we might not have it all, okay? We might not have it all down, but God knows our present situations and circumstances. He knows where we're coming. He knows where we're going. He knows where we're situated in our lives. He knows um, the things that we need okay uh the lord gave me the scripture the other day you know and we know it and we know it well the lord is my shepherd i shall not want you know and so we need to cast that care even of want we need to cast that care of need we take it to the lord in prayer and then we receive amen we receive because we're thankful we're grateful what the Lord has increased us in our lives and has not made us bitter, but has made us to be stronger. Because of something, uh, a mountain hill that may be set up against you, you know what God is saying? Overcome that. Overcome that mountain hill with love and not hate. Uh, overcome that mohill okay uh, with love instead of bitterness or hatred or anger and I believe this has a lot to do with the works of a flesh versus the works of the spirit and that's what took me to first Peter there in chapter 4 where God is changing our lives God wants to change our attitudes God wants to change our minds God wants to change our situations come on now to bring more life and increase us in the things of God and where there's negativity where there is hatred where there is anger God is saying you know what we need a change of heart we need a change of life we need to change of status quo <laughs> you know what we need to be taken higher um, in our altitude of our attitudes to be refined with the word of God. So living a changed life, first Peter there in chapter four, since it was Christ that suffered while he was in his body, strengthen yourselves with the same way of thinking Christ had. See he had a he had to change the way that he was thinking. He had to change the thought of negativity to a positive of what was sent before him. Can you imagine knowing the destiny of dying on a cross? I mean, would that strengthen you to wake up every morning thinking, today I gotta die on that cross? Well, see, the Lord's not telling us to die on the cross, but he is <laughs> telling us to pick up our cross come on now and to follow him see we have to strengthen ourselves with the same way of thinking that Christ had the person who has suffered in the body is finished with sin so have we suffered in this body has many things come against us that we can say no more no more I will not allow that sin to overtake me or to overcome me or try to knock me down amen because there in verse 2 the word says strengthen yourself so that you will live that you can live here on earth doing what God wants and that's what we need to do continually to do what God wants not what man wants not what I want but what God wants see God wants not the evil things that people want. See, we got to do God things, not evil things. We got to do what God wants us to do because there's a calling and there's a purpose and there's a destiny. And God wants us to do that, what he has called us to do, not the evil things that people want us to do. See, in the past... 
you wasted too much time doing what non-believers enjoy. You were guilty of sexual sins. We were guilty of evil desires. We were guilty of drunkenness. Come on now. We were guilty of being wild and to be uh, drunken at parties. Come on now. That we were guilty of hateful idol worship. And you know what? Non-believers think that it is strange that you do that you do not do the many wild and the wasteful things that they do and so of course because you're not doing what the world does or what the world wants you to do they insult you they insult you they're gonna hate you they're gonna bring you down why because you're not following into the trap of the enemy you know every time that the enemy tries to boggle you down okay you just shake off the dead stuff you know what that's not me I'm not going there I'm not going to that place you know of pitiful I'm not going to that place where sin is gonna bury me come on now I'm gonna be the light I'm gonna be the salt to the world I'm going to be the difference. I'm going to be the person that that God wants to see. Because greater is he, come on now, that lives in me than he that is of this world. See, they want to see the wild in you. They want to see the, the wasteful things in you. They want to see the not only the wasteful, but the untasteful. Come on now, the I guess you could say like the gross, gross things, you know, um, ungracious things. Uh, that's what people want to do just to simulate you and stick the finger and said, yeah, they're the guilty. Okay. That people are good at doing those things. But God is saying, you know what? I'm here to give you life. And I'm here to give it to you in abundance. And we, when we walk away of distasteful things and wasteful things and wild things, you know what? They can't insult you. The enemy is our accuser, ready to accuse and to bring you down and to tear you down. But once again, we can uh, superior all of those wasteful distasteful come on now and evil actions and things because God wants us to change God's made us in his image and in his likeness and God's not wasteful God's not distasteful come on now and God's not wild and crazy come on now I mean if anyone's in order God is order God is integrity God has character God has fruits come on now <laughs> and his fruits are life of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and self-control I mean God is not wasteful or distasteful God is full of of life and so we don't need anyone to insult us we don't need anyone to judge us but look what verse 5 says but they will have to explain this to God who is ready to judge the living and the dead see you can be alive in Christ or you can be dead in your sins and for this reason the good news was preached to those who are now dead Because not only did God go down to the very pits of hell and set the captives free. Come on now. But there's something to be dead in our sins where God has quickened us to be made alive. See, even though they were judged like all people, the good news was preached to them so that they could live 
in the spirit as God lives. And see, this is where God wants us to live. God wants us to live in the spirit realm. Not not where it's wasteful, distasteful, not where it's wild. But he wants us to live in peace. He wants us to live in joy. He wants us to live in his love. God wants us to live in his bosom here today. And I believe that these are uh, life lessons. Like once I, once I was sharing with you in the opening, you know what, that those rules or those regulations is for God's love and God's power to be in dominion in all areas of our lives. People may hate it because they're not hating you. They're hating the God inside of you. See, where there's light, the, the enemy wants to put darkness. But the light is always going to outshine the darkness. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we are going to express the life. And the life of Christ. Because once again church. Greater is he that lives in us. Than he that is of the world. So maybe you have received. A wave. And I'm saying. Maybe there was a, a wave offering. <laughs> going your way. But it was a wave of evilness. Or a wave of. of demeanor. Of trying to bring you down or tear you down you know what we're gonna cast that thought we're gonna cast that enemy out amen that the enemy itself the demonic spirits can't be in the vicinity that you're in come on now Sarabakoya. and may the blessings of god to fill your life to increase you and to change you and to become and the likeness of Christ in everywhere that you go. See, that's the most important thing. That you're projecting Christ. That you are living the example of Christ. And Christ loves you that much. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the promises that you are working out within our lives that maybe we can't see everything but we don't need to see everything because you are an all-seeing God that uncovers everything and that knows everything and knows the promises that are held above and not below but Father, your word says that thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we trust you today, Father God, with our lives. We trust you today, Father God, for the promises that you have for us. Father God, we trust you today and knowing that you are God and that you made us strong. That we can persevere and trample over the darkness and trample over the snakes and trample over the scorpions and trample over our enemies lord because we triumph through you and through the precious blood of jesus we have life forevermore in jesus mighty name father we ask you lord for all these things amen and amen Church, I pray that your day will be victorious in the Lord. That as you come and as you go, that you will mount your wings as eagles and soar here today. That God will crown you with life forevermore. Amen. Life here on earth as it is in heaven. Enjoy your day and be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you that God will increase you ever the more. Thank you for soaring high with me here today. Tina Viesca, cruzando fronteras con una voz alerta, crossing borders, international, ministering to lives of men, women, and children. 
all around the world. God bless you, church. We love you. Until next time, amen and amen. God bless you, church.